COVID Weekly with Governor Ralph Torres. This service is paid for by the Office of Governor Ralph Torres. Hopping in, welcome back to Hotspot, everybody. This is Fit to Lead, the segment on the show, which carried over from the link where we are talking to you from our friends up in the Northern Marianas about what they are doing to get the entire Commonwealth fit and healthy and living positive. And we have Paul Murphy. Uh, he is a educator with Kagman High School, and we are talking about mental health through physical fitness. So, Paul, buenas and hop a day, and thank you for being on the show. Buenas, thank you. Also, okay. it's, it's good I'm, to be here. Yeah, it's it's such a wonderful topic that we're discussing too, because you know, mental health is something that that we as a society know so much more about now. It's it's probably like a lot broader than any of us that are my age. I'm 48, ever imagined. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that you know, physical fitness has a direct impact, you know, on your mental well being and everything. So, can you kind of like uh, frame frame this up for us and and how you're contributing to that? Sure. I mean, um, my family and I we we do a lot of things together. Um, I wanted to start with uh, some some preconditions for the physical health because it often comes from a you know um, a spiritual side, you know that, Absolutely. that mindset. That mindset is is what carries over into the uh, into the physical health. You know what what goes on on the inside. I think is going to come out in the way your body looks, the way you think, the way you feel, how you act, and the way you speak. And I notice uh, what I like to share with my uh, family, my students, and now teachers, because I teach teachers as well, is to be able to choose an emotion to go after, and that kind of sets the stage for everything else. I don't know if that makes sense. Absolutely, like, yes. Yeah. yeah, so I, I like to ask uh, people, what if you could only choose one emotion, right? And that's the only emotion that you get from God for the rest of your life, what, it would, what would it be, right? And it, it kind of stops, and you have to think about uh, what emotion is your priority, and a majority of people will choose happiness, right? And I, I, I asked them, well, is that, is that a byproduct? No, because usually happiness is a byproduct of the actions you take. So are you picking the byproduct or is there other things? Because there are 600 different or, or more um, happiness emotions you can choose from. Mm -hmm. you know, for the example, happiness we get from food, the happiness we get from exactly, passing a test. Or, you know. right? And is it contented or euphoria or you know, all, all the in-betweens? Mm. Yeah, so I start, I start from that emotional standpoint, right? Um, for, for me personally, it's love and righteousness, right? And oftentimes those two uh, involve a lot of suffering, self-sacrifice, uh, patience, self-control. But the, the long-term effects of choosing the right emotion and prioritizing it uh, gives you the mental strength to be able to get up in the morning or, you know, go to, go to the gym or go on a walk or swim after work. You know, so that's that's usually where I start from in okay, order yeah. to get that, that physical it, part. Exactly, because so many people go for, you know, fitness goals and they say, I want to knock out 300 push-ups today or, you know, 700 sit-ups. And, you know, and it, it, it's something that's quantifiable. Um, but a lot of people don't actually apply that when it comes to their mental health, too. So, I know, I, I totally get that. Yeah, and so that, that example is great because um, I, I have a lot of people ask me, well, what do I need to do in order to get healthy? And I'm like, you don't want to be healthy. And they, they'd give me a quizzical look like, what? I'm like, no, no one wants to be healthy. If we could stay at home and, you know, eat bacon and cheesecake, we would do that if, if it was healthy, you know, if, it, if our body didn't react. And they stop and they As long as it's strawberry, it's got to be strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> exactly, right? And so by getting that, that, um, that frame of mind out of the way, like, well, what do I really want? You know, and I, found, I used to be a personal trainer in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you can admit what you really want, for example, for some of the younger uh, single ladies, you know, ask them, why do you want to work out? Well, I want to be healthy. And I'm like, is that true? Or do you really want a husband? You know, and it kind of catches them off guard. Well, yep. you know, I think I want a husband. You know, for guys, you know, they want that, um, that desire to have uh, self-empowerment or to feel, to feel confident or powerful. And by identifying those emotions, oftentimes the rest of it falls into place. They'll wake up and do the push-up, sit-ups, and, you know, push themselves to get those things because the emotional framework is in place. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate, Jane, uh, I'm sorry, Paul, how you said, um, you know, there's a spirituality component to this that a lot of people probably don't realize and certainly don't implement because, you know, depending on what you believe and where you went to church and how you were raised, um, you know, you honor your creator by realizing that the, bo the body is a gift and the body is a temple so that it it's part of the total system that you have to take care of because this was given to you by a higher power. Uh, yeah, that's and fundamentally that's where it comes down to. 
Mm -hmm. um, and as a as a Christian, the way the way I was taught is that you should you should challenge and question everything, you know. And then I was thinking that seems so counterintuitive, like you know. And then someone told me it's like, well, you think God can't handle you? And I started laughing, like you know, that's a great point. If if the truth is the truth and you go after it, then it will come out to be true. And then it's up to us to choose what emotion we can use based on that truth. You know, we can run away from it, or we can say, you know what, maybe I should change that area in my life because it'll be better for me. And again, God gave you a gift to be able to question, to be able to think critically and everything. So you, again, you honor your existence by, you know, yeah. yeah. Okay, so how, how are you spreading this, this message? And, you know, there's a lot of positivity to it. And obviously the gains are, you know, uh, you feel better about yourself. You probably you sleep better at night. You know your rest is better. You know you you communicate with with your peers and your family and your loved ones better. How do we get this message out throughout the Marianas, which includes us? So um, I, as an educator, I do um, uh, three minute three minute exercises twice a week at the beginning of class, and then I couple that with the five love languages. Um, I don't know if you've uh, read the book, The Five Love Languages. Highly recommend it. I only know two of them. And one of them is probably financial. So, you know, that's, <laughs> that's how I was raised. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you look those up, you, we practice in class, those, you know, uh, once, once uh, every day for five days and mm. the two of the days we do a, a workout along with the love language. So that's how I spread it with the students. And then um, just playing games with families. I, um, there's a couple of games that I, I made up. Uh, one is called crab balloon volleyball. So I set up like a small net that's about two feet off the ground and you get on all fours, you sit on your butt, you know, feet and hands on the floor, and then you have a balloon and you play volleyball by kicking the balloon. You can only use your feet and body, not your hands mm. to get the balloon over the net. And it's amazing, you know, the students were just playing this and then my family played it and they worked up a sweat, you know, within a few minutes, but they were loving it. You know, it's a full body workout. So I spread those things. Usually if you gamify the exercises, people will, will do physical things that they never thought they would. Yes. Um, and I, I got to tell you, Paul, because I've got so many friends uh, up in Saipan and I, I used to go there for volleyball tournaments. So I appreciate how you brought up volleyball. We used to play rock ball when rock ball was a yes. thing up there. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic not sport. A, not an easy game at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, other ways, uh, I know the, the Swim for Life program has a great program. My daughter's involved with the Natibu uh, Maritime Sailing Program. Mm. Um, uh, for adults, um, I did a, a professional development where I had them, we practice again the same uh, uh, five love languages, the six human needs. And these come from uh, Tony Robbins, uh, Dr. Henry Cloud, Dr. Bruce Dispenza, and uh, I forgot one, Dr. Bruce Lipton. Okay, I'm, I'm very, very familiar with uh, with Tony Robbins. Very excellent work. Awaken the giant within. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, unlimited power. Yeah, amazing, amazing Absolutely. work. Absolutely. So I implement I implement those frameworks within the uh, within the teaching, and then by teaching the teachers how to share it, or at least the framework, they can actually come up with their own games and implement it in their own lives, and then implement it in their own families. Mm -hmm. So uh, on a more personal level, um, just being out. You know, inviting people, I guess it's being uh, neighborly. You know, if you're going on a walk, say hi to people. If they're sitting down, you know, just share with them, ask them questions, you know, like that opening question. What emotion, if you only had one, would would you choose? Um, do you know just say and hop a day to somebody when they walk yes. by. You know, like, yeah. You'd be amazed how, how much that, you know, like that makes their day, that makes you feel better about yourself. So on Saipan, when I grew up, um, my family, um, when the tourists, this was, this was normal for when I was growing up, that when the tourists would be walking the street, they'd be invited into the homes, you know, like, hey, come join us for a party or come join us for a barbecue. Yep. You know, um, I remember cultural days were, were out of like, out of this world, you know, they had the spear throwing competitions, the coconut husking competitions, and then they would build the actual, you know, uh, tomorrow hut, like on the spot mm -hmm. at the MHS campus, so. Yeah, That's those fantastic. kind of things, yeah, where, where you get the community involvement um, in a cultural level. I had my uh, children do like uh, spear throwing as well. You know, things that um, we don't normally practice just because it's not really necessary anymore, but to get your body engaged into those uh, skill sets is another right. way to really share. Yeah. Well, Paul, Paul, this is fantastic. I wish we could go on for this for, for days because we certainly could, but uh, where on social media, if, <laughs> if, if people would like to find out more about, you know, 
uh, about this philosophy, as it seems, and, you, and the programs that you teach? Where can people find you to find out more? Um, they can email me. They can find me on Facebook, WhatsApp. Um, you can share uh, my email. I could uh, send my email. That'd probably be the best way. Sure. Um, at the moment, just look, you can you can look him up on uh, Facebook. Everybody, Paul Murphy. Uh, pick the Paul. Uh, there's probably a kajillion Paul Murphys on Facebook, but yeah, pick but the one that teaches at Cagman High School. Inside Ben, yes. Okay. All right. Well, Paul, thank you for sharing um, you know, these amazing lessons with us, and uh, we wish you and our, all of our friends up in the NMI the very best. Thank you for inviting me, Jason. Appreciate uh, it. Absolutely. So that, that was fit to lead everybody. Again, our friends up in the NMI teaching us around the Marianas how to live a healthier life. God bless. Get 